Hi, it's Chris here with Aerobatic Systems. We're going to show you how to change out a seat belt pretension with this silver tube assembly right here. Many of the seat belts have this type of hardware in them. This one's off of a Nissan vehicle. Um, when you open your seat belt apart and get it down to this point, you're going to see something that looks much like this. You've got your ball bearings in here that are all floating inside the, uh, the hardware. The gear is loose, and this is usually what's locking up your seat belt, and you're hearing this noise. Now, not always will these do that. That's why we always recommend you've got to check your igniter here to make sure you have the right resistance to know for sure if your seatbelt is deployed or not. Um, okay, so from here, you're going to take this out and get rid of your ball bearings. And get rid of your, your, your mess that's in here. It's just in the way. Some of the ball bearings will store down inside this tube assembly here. and you, that, That's where they'll uh, be there. After you get this out, you're going to notice that th this uh, gear has two little holes in it. You're going to need to get the pins out of there or drill it out. Now we've gone ahead on this one here and, and gone a little bit further with it and pulled it out, pulled our pins out and put this on a drill press. You're going to need to get really good with the drill or have a little drill press to make these really uh, drill easy for you. But take a center punch and pop right in the center of where the, the pins were. You'll see where they're, they're broken off in there. And then just drill completely through the hardware is really the easiest way. Okay, at that point, you want something to shear off when you go back in. So at that point, we'd recommend is some kind of a, a plastic dowel that will work. This one fits really tight for what we found, and usually it's a, a plastic toothpick or something of that nature. You know, obviously that's way long, but that gives you a sense that's in there nice and tight. You want that to shear off, but you want to hold the gear in place while you have it in the car until you need it. You don't want to use something that's wooden or something like that. It's just going to cause problems later on you're going to have a seat belt repair later and it's going to be noisy in there. I hear some people using uh, some welding rod or something of that nature. I don't know how brittle that would be. You definitely want to make sure this could shear off. So after you have that, cut you some small pieces and stick it inside your 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 gear assembly and you get a sense of how that's going to be. Okay. At this point you can see these would line up with the holes you've got drilled in your hardware like that so I can hold it so you can see it so you can see the dowels are in there you can push this all the way through and you want it to be tight and you can see they pop out the other side and then you'd probably want to match that you may want to put some silicone or something on something like that just to make sure it's in there that's going to hold that gear nice and taut now you can't put the gear in at this point because it, it has to have the replacement part first so I just wanted to show you how to get the gear where it'll hold without the gear your ball bearings are going to fall right back out of your new hardware okay so, uh, also one other thing I want to point out, notice that on these, most of them will have some adhesive or something right here. This will help you when you reassemble your, your, uh, your part to kind of hold this all in place. And that, that way this is not wiggling around. You don't have a fight on your hands trying to put all this stuff back together. But that's, that's something we'd recommend too, is that when you just put a little bead of silicone there and then that, that slaps that in there, that'll, that'll help hold that together as well. This has to go in first. So you're going to have a new one, obviously, and it's going to have ball bearings in there. Um, notice this one here has a hole drilled right here. Usually there's, there's a, a pin or something that'll, that'll keep your ball bearings up inside of here and not fall out of here and be in your way. You're going to need that to stay about that height. When you put the gear in, notice these gears have got different spacing on the sprockets. you got two that are real close together here, then you got wider spacing. When you put these dowels in, they're not evenly positioned dowels, so that's going to put your gear in the right place. But the gear will slide into the tubing first. If you put the if you put it in with the gear, you'll never get this in there. So you have to put the the tubing and the gear assemble it together. That's what's important to keep this right here and keep your um, keep your ball bearings out of your way. Okay, so then at that point. You kind of see where the dowels are going to be. Work your gear inside your tubing. That's what we're doing here. You come down with it all together. And you can get your dowels in at this point. It's just a matter of just lining up. You want a nice tight fit on this. You don't want it to be loose. So there we got everything's down in here. You can see the gears inside the, the tubing well. And if that pinhole right here is holding your ball bearings that's where they're going to start they're going to see out there very quickly when it deploys it I'm snapping the gear down tight here and you can see the dowels are in there that will hold it together 
it is, uh, without it being any adhesive, it's kind of wiggle around. So I think it would be helpful to have some silicone in the back side back here. And then I would definitely want to want to uh, have these sprockets in there really nice and tight. Um, and then at this point, you start reassembling everything. Uh, if you have a, uh, a dowel or something here, you want to snap that off. The gear is going to hold that in place. The ball bearings be right there. So when this charge goes, it's going to instantly start rotating this gear. I hope that helps explain how to get the gears back in there. We get a lot of questions about that. We'll show other videos on how to do further assembly on this in case the other side of the seatbelt comes apart or the springs come out. Um, it's one of the simpler belts if you just see how to, it's done. If you need help on how to test the seatbelt pretensioners or you need to change out the head on this because yours is a different type, uh, go to airbagsystems.com and click on technical support. Airbagsystems.com, click on technical support. Please do not call us about seat belts because we really can't help you on, on the phone. Um, it's better just to see the videos and we probably can point you in a different direction. We recommend sending an email to us and we can send you other links with more details if you need help with that. Thank you for watching.